The root folder, written as slash, is the very top of the Linux file system. Everything else branches out from here. Slash bin contains the basic programs you need to use the system, like ls, cp, or cat. Slash sbin is similar, but it's for system administration tools, like fdisk or reboot, usually only used by root. Slash boot holds the Linux kernel and bootloader files. If something here breaks, the system won't even start. Slash dev treats your hardware as files. Your hard drive shows up as slash dev SDA, and slash dev null is a special file that discards anything you write to it. Slash etc. contains configuration files for the whole system. For example, slash etc slash hosts handles hostname resolution, and slash etc slash password lists user accounts. Slash home is where each user's personal files live, like slash home slash alex slash documents. Slash lib contains shared libraries that programs in slash bin and slash sbin depend on. Slash media is where external drives, like USBS or DVDs, usually get auto-mounted. Slash mnt is also for mounting, but it's mostly used by admins when manually mounting drives. Slash opt is reserved for optional or third-party software that doesn't come with the system. Slash proc is a virtual directory that shows live system information. For example, you can run cat slash proc slash CPU info to see CPU details. Slash root is the home directory for the root user. It's separate from normal users' folders in home. Slash run stores temporary runtime data created after boot, like which users are logged in or which services are running. Slash SRV is meant for service data, like web or FTP servers. For example, a website might be stored in slash SRV slash www dot. Slash sys is another virtual directory, exposing information about your hardware and kernel. Slash TMP is where temporary files go. Programs use it for short-lived data, and it's usually cleared automatically. Slash USR is where most installed software and their libraries live. For example, slash USR slash BIN contains the majority of your commands. And finally, slash var stores data that constantly changes, like system logs in slash var slash log, caches, or mail spools. By the way, if you write shell scripts, one mistake and your system is gone. But shelldef scans shell scripts for errors and bugs and gives a fixed version of the code. Check it for free from the link below.